Thanks, Christine. Thank you, thank you. So welcome, everybody. Wow, impressive. So I was always looking from the outside on the stage. Now I'm looking from the stage into the, into the audience. Great. So I'm, I'm here today to talk about uh, gaining the invaluable insight with PlantSight, or with other words, um, bringing more bright and light into dark data. So, ooh, dark data, magic. So what, what are we doing with, uh, with this environment on dark data, and what are we doing with collecting the things? And, uh, and we talk about PlantSight, our new development, together with our partners and folks from Bentley, um, a new software where we're collecting information from 1D, 2D, and 3D. I come to this uh, in the next slides. So when you see something reflecting and, and suddenly look through, and then tangible or intangible, um, and you become loosened, um, and then you are in the moment of of knowing. I think that is something what, what comes you or gives you value when it comes to this emotional moment of knowing things and, um, and that gives you reliability, information and trust. So how we do this, how we manage dark data and what is this, what is uh, what are dark data, what is the acronym for our dark data, it is the unstructured, untapped data in the plant, data and documents, and, and we, we from process industries, we're still talking about documents. We're still having a lot of documents in, in plants. Uh, different data storage locations. Everybody knows that, and, and Christine said this in the office environment, everybody knows there are a lot of bunch of databases, uh, documents, uh, 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 sources. Uh, different applications, a lot of applications, um, and then finding these informations is a key challenge. So when we talk with our customers, and that's what they told me all the time, they said, yeah, the main challenge for us is finding information in, in engineering, bring the information together and reuse information. That is a big challenge, and we spend in feed engineering, for example, 30% of our time to search for such a data. And that's one thing. And the other thing is that they want to have back the governance of their own data. So think about an operator. He has lost the governance of his own data, and that's what he wants to get back. And that's what we're doing and what we're helping here. When you see plant side, so the scalable concept from the, digit, from the digital twin, and we heard a lot during these days about digital twin. And I think we are the, let's say, the only company who really are, are doing this digital twin for the virtual plant. So we have the design data, simulation data, the 1D, the 2D, the 3D data on the one hand side, the process model, forecast data, asset data, that's the one hand side. And then we have the other hand side, the real plant, where we have the alerts, the historian information, DCS information, equipment data, log data, what was happening. And all of those data are combined in these views in PlantSide. So we are combining this information in one environment, in one system. How we do this? We do this with a clear and clean continuous handover strategy over the whole life cycle of the plant. So from the engineering and design view of the digital twin to the operational view of the digital twin with a handover strategy and with a change management in between. So for us, absolutely mandatory is that we learn from what we have in the requirement as a closed loop feedback or pattern learning or pattern recognition back to the loop when it comes to the uh, uh, front end engineering or the, the first engineering, all of this. And for sure, in the middle, what we always think about or talk about the single source of truth concept. In this case, it could be MindSphere, it could be TeamSynth, it could be all our platforms 
what we have in Siemens would be provided, and in this case, as, a, as the center of the universe of the data. When it comes to the brown fields, and I think that is the, uh, uh, that is the mandatory topic, I think for green field to talk about the digital twin is, I want to say, an easy part. But it is more a part where we say, yeah, we have all the tools available. We can do this with, uh, with Annex, with Team Center, with Comos, with all of those tools. We have this available for, for the plant engineering. But what happens if the data are coming from the different sources, from different systems? So that is, that is, the, that is the crucial uh, challenge what we have here. And uh, we take all the documents and the data, so we capture the information. We can do this with, even, even if we're not having the information and data quality available, even if we're not having a 3D model there, we use capturing technology from Bentley, making photogrammetry, taking photos of a plant, bringing this information into the system, and starting up from this scratch, and then we, 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 we validate the data and consolidate the data. And then we have the data afterwards consistent. And we use this digital twin information to do what? Not just having a digital twin. That's not the case. No. We are using the da data for do better uh, asset management or asset uh, reliability or asset information, whatever you want to do with your assets afterwards. <coughs> What is the most important thing when we look about plant side and what are the target groups here? And I think that's important. We have, we have just four, four views at the moment. We're saying, have a look what an engineer is looking for. What is he needed when we think about plant side? What is the operational manager needed when he has a look to plant side as a target audience? What is the operator doing or the site manager? So an op for an operations manager um, in the plant, the operations manager needs the opportunity to unveil previously hidden data and get the complete overview for the whole entire plan. To make what? For sure, better decisions. Give him the possibility to make better decisions about all re uh, reasonable topics in his plant. And give him the possibilities to improve anytime, anywhere. Just with a fingertip, that's what we talk. Just with the fingertip, give him the possibilities uh, to make proof concept and better decision for the long run business. And when it comes to this picture, what we saw there was the closed loop. I think we used this graph and said, OK, he wants to do this also with the newest fancy technology, so mobile devices. So just, 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 take, the, just take the mobile phone and have the app on the mobile and going there and use the app applications, which is possible here, uh, and have a look what happened in his, uh, in his plant. And the site manager, for example, what is the site manager doing? So the site manager wants really to have a clear overview of this entire plant, what he is responsible for. Um, uh, but he also needs the tool uh, to, to help him and people to work Easily. So when we always talk about this blue dress people, so that people really not would like to have complicated systems. It needs to be easy. One view on the information. That's what they need. And they want to combine the operational information from historians, and you want to see uh, the information from from the engineering part in one system. You would not like to use several systems, hundred system, hundred views on this. You would like one view, just one view centralized to the information. What is the engineer view on this? The engineer's view is need to see all data in a single data environment. Even here, uh, he's not interested to search for them several times. And that's what I said, and then I repeat this. Engineers are really taking time, 30 to 40% of the work, to searching for the data, what they need for the daily work. We get a better environment for them. We help them to do this better. And then the operator, so realize the task without stress, and what would be surprised. So you see it here, also latest technologies. Let's, let's talk about Google Glasses or uh, 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 
HoloLenses or those stuff like that, all these fancy things, which are really not fancy anymore. That's what people really daily use, and they want to have this data available. So what we do with PlantSide, bringing all the information to a central point and make those guys use of it. I think that is a really, really great technology. So all together, <coughs> gaining the invaluable insights. You saw this. And the key takeaways, so the digital twin with uh, contextualized data from different sources provides a better insights, simple and clear. Um, leverage enormous savings on potential here for money and time. I think that's always what the value comes from or what the value is for. The workflows are triggered promptly, yeah, can trigger and help a DCS and the asset performance applications. So that's really from what we say, that's the old phrase, from the integrated engineering to the integrated operation. And that's really unique. And I think Siemens is the only company in the world who really can provide this with hardware and software. And we're replacing the disconnected and manual workflow with digital processes. In a nutshell, we're capturing the data from 1D, 2D, and 3D, transform raw data into complete digital twin. We use the digital twin here, and I invite everybody to see it here on the whole Siemens booth, how this digital twin methodology takes place here. And on every, every booth, you can see a part of this digital twin methodology, because that drives us in total. We visualize all the current data in a single web, portal, to so see it here in the cloud, creating value for our customers, plant side open eyes to insights for faster and better decisions anytime and anywhere. Thank you very much. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.